Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris from WindFlectorExpert.com and in this video I am going to show you how to use printers with WindFlector. The typical use for a printer with WindFlector is when someone wants to run the published application on the server and then print out the results locally. This is understandable. A person who wants to provide a customer with an invoice wants it right here and right now and not print it out miles away in the main office. This is the very first video in which we don't have to touch the server configuration, it is done entirely on the client. Let's go over the basic case. We'll connect to the server under a basic configuration, which lets us use the calculator and paint, draw a house and then print it. Let's launch the WinFlector client. The server is running on 192.168.37.128. With user being Tam, the password being A, and the domain WF Expert. I am using the Windows or Active Directory authentication here. Before we launch the application, I'll go over the printer options. Let's click Printers. Now, this is the default configuration and it will be good for almost anyone. Obviously, we need to have the Map Printers box checked. If it's done, let's talk more about the parameters. The server printers visible option will show server printers in the application. This might be useful if you want to print something within the server's network, for instance in the main office. The set terminal default printer on the server option is a very handy one as it makes sure that the client's default printer is also the default for this application. If you have the default printer set up well, you can just click it and save yourself the time looking for the right printer in the application. The set when flector PDF printer as the default on the server behaves as the option above it, except it will default to the WinFlector PDF printer. I'll show you how it works soon. As for the remaining option, printing via EMF is the recommended mode. This way WinFlector will use enhanced meta files to transfer printer data, saving memory, time and bandwidth. You can either use the memory or file mode, with the former increasing both memory usage and speed and the latter doing the opposite. The difference will be inconsequential for most. The EMF mode can fail under certain circumstances such as missing fonts. In this case you'll want to switch to printing via bitmaps. It is a much heavier mode with more data being transferred and more memory being used, but with the rendering done on the server. You can be sure that the printout you're getting is exactly the one you'd get when printing from the server. This can use 2, 16 or 256 colors. Use the smallest number you can as these bitmaps can be very high resolution and are transferred under lossless compression, which altogether may place a heavy load on the infrastructure. So, without further ado, let's see it in action. Let's go to Applications, Launch Paint, Draw a House, It's beautiful. Let's print it. We have the print dialog opened. Since we're running the default configuration, the right printer, the Bravo one, is already selected. Let's print it. I have just wasted an innocent sheet of paper on this, so sorry paper. And now let's see how the PDF printer works. We need to select the WinFlector PDF printer at WFC print. And boom, we've gotten the PDF file. Let's save it and open it. In this case, no paper was harmed. So that's how you print with WinFlector. If you like this video, go check out winflectorexpert.com. Thanks and see you soon.